But Bitcoin is not a company. Um, it is a network. And the value of networks is Metcalf's law. It's N squared. So the amount of users on a network is, is N. And so if I'm the only person in the world who has a phone, then it's not very valuable. I can't call you. Um, but if you buy a phone, you've actually increased the value of my phone um, inadvertently or not even knowing uh, because now all of a sudden my phone's useful. Same thing with the social network. If you look at Facebook, the first person on Facebook, lonely place, not much to do. All of a sudden, 100 people, you can connect with people. You can share stories, share pictures. That's a good analogy. So it's classic network effects. A billion people on Facebook, that's a billion uh, squared, right? So that's all of a sudden the value gets exponentially greater. Um, and that's how we value Bitcoin. Money is a network. People believe in the U.S. dollar. It has more value. Um, people believe in Bitcoin. It has value. People believe in gold. It has value. And that's not a linear increase. By definition, the more people they get into Bitcoin, it makes it more valuable. And when we try and take like equities or stock bubble type frameworks to, to Bitcoin, it's really um, it's misguided because it's a network. Have yeah. you sold any Bitcoin?